So this evening I'm about to paint the laundry room and I should be able to use the paint sprayer. Right now I have the heater going just to get the room up to 70 because it's a little bit chilly in the house. Like it's probably like 65 or so, but I want to make sure it's at 70 before I start painting just because I don't want to take any chances on it not drying or running or anything like that. And I do want to use my paint sprayer this time and this paint is safe to use in it so I can. After I get the paint sprayed and stuff, I'm going to go out to the barn and go grab one of the boards that, that is going to be for the floor and they're already planed and everything, but I need to get one and rub some linseed oil on it just because I think that's what I'm going to seal the floor with. I don't like polyurethane and polyacrylic. That's what we had at our old house and we didn't put it in. It was like 20 years old and I guess that was from the original owners whenever they did it. I don't know if they did it wrong or just... I don't know, but there was so much hair and dirt underneath the sealant, like the polyacrylic or polyurethane. I don't know which one it was, but it was one of the two. And by the time we were leaving, like huge pieces of the, whatever it was sealed with was starting to peel off. Like it was like, it would just peel back in layers. And so I don't know if they just did it wrong or what, but I've used both polyacrylic and polyurethane on other projects and I'm not a fan. Like I just don't like the finish that it gives. And even the matte ones, they're not matte. So I'm just going to stay away from that. And I really like the linseed oil. I, that's what I used in the bathroom. So far it has held up great. It's been five months and I haven't had to reapply it. I probably should. It's not water damaged or anything like that. And it looks awesome still. I know that linseed oil can turn a little bit yellow and it can darken over like a period of time of being on the floor, which I'm not really concerned with darkening, just if it turns orange. I do not want orange floors at all. But like I said, the bathroom has held up great so far and it hasn't turned orange and it's actually pine, which it's not the original floor. They built the pine flooring over top of the original floor so that they could put the plumbing in between the two. But I got a lot of recommendations from other people on Instagram and the number one recommended besides linseed was tongue oil and I looked into it and even though a lot of them say tongue oil unless it's a hundred percent tongue oil then it's it barely even contains any tongue oil like most of them only contain about five percent because it is so thick that they dilute it down with usually mineral spirits or some other type of chemical and I don't want to do that like I want something that doesn't have a bunch of additives I wanted the 100% tongue oil but they don't sell it you mostly have to order it offline and I really don't want to wait like I'm ready to get it going and plus after doing research the 100% tongue oil you have to let it cure for days sometimes weeks before you can add that second coat so the floor would that would be just longer that we don't have a washer and the linseed oil within like 12 hours to even earlier than that you can add your second coat and be ready. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And if I need to reply it every six months to once a year, it's a small space and it shouldn't okay, be. So a far, this is what the laundry room looks like. And the second coat did awesome. Like there's a, I don't really see any yellowing showing through like any bleeding or anything. So I think we're going to be good to go for the third coat and that's going to be regular paint. It's not going to be primer this time. Okay, so we just finished putting another coat of paint on and I sprayed it on and I literally want to cry because the lady at Lowe's, she didn't work in the paint department, but she said that she could mix the paint for us and get the right color and she tinted our paint wrong. So it's literally like so yellow and I called Lowe's and they said to bring it back and they'll retint it. Hopefully we can get the right shade and I can spray it maybe tonight whenever we get back. I don't know. Or probably honestly tomorrow because that's probably going to take a while to Okay, so we're back from Lowe's and they ended up just damaging out the paint. They said that they couldn't retint it because their tint machine was down. So they couldn't like run the numbers and stuff like that to get what we wanted. So they ended up just giving us two new five gallon buckets of paint, which I made sure it was the right color before we left. So after the laundry room dries tomorrow, I'm going to have to sand down the walls just lightly. Because I feel like that's just so much paint that's been on. There's two coats of primer and then that layer of paint. And then I'll be adding another layer of paint. So I feel like that is just a lot on there. And I don't want it to look cakey. So I'm going to lightly... Okay, so before I took that can of paint back, I made a color swatch. This one is still wet. This is the new paint that I got. And hopefully you guys can tell. I feel like you can't really tell the difference, but this one is just so much more yellow than this one. This one is like a true, true white. And that one is just, I don't know, like a yellowy caramel color, I think. So this is what's on there right now. And then this is what I got and what I wanted in the first place. And I'll be putting it on. Okay, here it is up against the wall. And I feel like you can really tell the difference here. But the one on the cardboard is just so much lighter and just, I don't know. It's more of a true white, I think.
Okay, so we just got the floor light in here in the laundry room and I love it so much. Like, it makes me so, so happy. Like, just to be able to see a finished floor and I love how it turned out. I tried to zoom in so you guys could see, but those two pieces I've already linseed oiled and just to see what it would look like. So you can see how much it'll darken it. And then this looked like this before. So it'll look more brown and not greenish. But that's what the whole floor will look like. I just think it adds so much character to the space and I cannot wait to get a washer and dryer in here. They're not nailed down yet because I was still pulling them around playing with them because I wanted to make sure that I liked how they laid so we didn't like lay it and nail it. I wanted to like lay it out so I could see it. So Ben went to go get the nails so that we can nail them down. And then tomorrow we'll work on sanding them. We're going to do it with the belt sander because I don't know if you can see. There's a little bit of blue paint left on that board. But also they're just not, they're just not even because the planer, it took like different amounts off of each board. So we're just going to like lightly sand and level it up. And plus take off any splinters that there might be where we made the cuts. And I know we go about things differently and probably backwards to some people. But it's just our process and our way of doing it. If you guys remember, these are the boards that came out of the 1876 house that was about to be tore down. The boards when they were in that house were laid with really big nails. So we had to use a framing nail gun to make sure that the nail was big enough to fill the nail hole because in some places we had to nail through the old nail hole and we had to make sure it would hold. And I wanna say, always wear proper shoes whenever you're using a nail gun, don't be like us. But our shoes had rocks and mud and it kept making indentions in the wood. So we went barefooted, but I'm not recommending that you do that. Mm -hmm. 